Hello everyone, it's time to harvest some veggies from the garden but first I want to let you know that Greenstock is having their Mother's Day sale it starts today, May 2nd and goes all the way into the 13th the main planter that's going to be on sale is going to be this one the original planter, the 5 tier original and everything else on the website is also going to be 10% off so if you already have a green stock and you want to get some accessories for it now is a great time to do it and you can still use my code Mars Garden to get $10 off your purchase over $75 I'll put more details about it on the description box down below now let's get to the harvesting let's start here with this beautiful purple broccoli so this is a sprouting broccoli and as you can see here there are some shoots coming out from the sides and I'm gonna go all the way down here actually and cut it and then all of these other side ones are going to get a little bigger with time and keep producing for us for a few more weeks this season so here's our first one and I have a few other broccolis in here also this one is not as big, this one on top was getting more sun so it got a little bit bigger I'm gonna go ahead and harvest down here too take a little less of this because these side shoots are not as big and one more down here I'm going to move this around a bit I have also some beautiful Napa cabbage growing here it's also a purple Napa cabbage I don't remember exactly the name of the variety of this broccoli but I'm going to put it down on the screen I got the seeds from Johnny Seeds and let me see now I have one more here that I'm going to harvest and I'm putting them in this basket here looking nice so far we also are going to grab some kale from this and I'm debating if I should harvest some of these other leaves we'll see but let me turn this one more time this one is on a spinner so it's easy for me to turn around and I'll get here to this kale I can just with my hands break it like this and kale is one of my favorite things to grow it's very versatile, you can put in salads, you can juice it, you can saute it, you can put in soups, you can put in stews, it's just so good and if you can even get it to grow year round, which I plan to try to do with this by turning this planter to the shade when it gets really hot so the plant doesn't struggle too much but that's it from one plant, you got a very nice bunch I'm gonna turn because I have a lot more kale in here on this side and I'm gonna harvest some more of that too I'm a little behind in the harvesting, I couldn't have harvested this week but we'll still eat all of this look this is just about the size of the bunch we get here at the store in New York at least and these other ones here are a, lot, a little smaller and we can have as baby tender leaves which I really like here we have it a nice bunch to go together with our broccoli and this green stock still looks pretty full I do want to maybe take some of these other things out because I noticed that the things on the top are growing a little bit bigger than the ones on the bottom and sometimes if that happens these guys here can shade these guys and takes a little longer for them so I'm just gonna make a little bit more space so they can kind of grow in a more even pace together and we'll eat these other leaves too I can just cut it up and put in stir fries. So I don't want to take this big guy out. So. I'm not gonna be doing that too much because I do want them to become mature. But just now in the beginning, I want to help out the plants that are underneath. And I'll do that real quick. I'll leave this big guy there. I'm tempted to take this one, but I'm afraid that I might hurt the plant too much. I'll try to leave that in there and we'll see how it goes. In a couple of days, I'll come and harvest these two side shoots plus these leaves. We do eat broccoli leaves as well. I also like to take it out of the stem like we do with kale. I'll cut the stem very small and saute with onions and things for a soup. And then I'll strip the leaf and cut it very thin to also saute with some garlic and stuff to eat as a side. So let's leave this as is I'm gonna move on to this planter now this is a leaf 70 year planter I'm gonna get some of the cilantro that's becoming really big I'm just gonna trim the outer outer edges cilantro is a hard herb for me because usually bolts too fast so it goes to seed 
when it gets uh, fast when it gets hot so far it's looking great so i'm gonna enjoy it while we can and i hope that i can keep harvesting for a few more weeks also before it gets too hot and decides to send a flower stock so nice leaves got some kale from down here too because it's I like to get the bottom leaves kind of cleaned up. All right, and these, all of these flowers here are edible. I could harvest some of these flowers too, not this one, but the pansies. I could harvest some of this, but I'm going to leave them in the plant for now because I have some little ladybug larvas going around in here and I don't want to accidentally harvest them. If you're curious about that you can watch my last garden tour but now i'm going to just get a little bit of this thyme try to trim it a bit i'll harvest some for the week and i can always dry a little excess i keep drying through the year to be able to have it in the winter this year i ran out of time in the winter and i was really sad about it so i'm planning to try to be a bit more up with my game and keep harvesting more so i can have enough for the cold season. I have some arugula in the back of this too. Oh look at that, it's growing. The arugula grew really fast and I'm gonna take some, I could just break it down too but I have this in my hands so I'm gonna use it. Just again from the outside and they'll keep growing. It's kind of trimming a bit. It smells great also. Put some here. I think it's good. I have so many greens. I only want a little bit because I'm going to mix this with a salad that I'm going to make tonight for dinner. And I think that's it for this green stock. I'll leave it to grow a little bit more. And I'm going to now get some radishes from this container that I have here. Okay, so I have a French breakfast radish here. And a couple of these purple radishes. I forgot exactly the name. I guess it's not as big as I actually thought they would be. But it's all right. We can still harvest few of them. Oh, that one is not too big yet. Just this guy. And actually it's early enough in the season still that I can just sow some other radish seeds in here. It's probably what I'm gonna do to have sort of a succession going. And these guys I'll let them grow a little bit bigger and harvest them for another salad in a few more days. Let me just rinse this up real quick before I put it into our basket. Okay, I was going to harvest some more things from my leaf green stock up there, but I think this is plenty for the next few days, so I'm going to stop here. I'm happy with what we got. I might get a couple more herbs from the green stock up there later, just if I need it when I'm cooking. Here we have it, a nice little garden harvest in the beginning of May, so this is just a start. I'm actually really excited to put another green stock up like this, full of peppers, so I got one more of the original, and I'm going to plant all the five tiers with peppers that I have started from seed and I should be doing this in the next coming weeks. So I'm super excited for that. And after all the school season crops are done in here, I'm going to replant this green stock with beans, basil and some other herbs. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see how much more food we'll be able to grow here in this season. Thank you so much for watching. If you're curious to see when I planted this, I'm going to link a video right here that you can watch next. Thank you again, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time.